Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to our high school build. I, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I had to go like through three different saves to try and find this because I couldn't remember which file I actually saved this in. So I was kind of like, um, where is it? <laughs> I genuinely could not remember where on earth I actually uh, built this. Because normally I would build in my build save, but I think um, because I was building it for something, or I actually I was building it for my 100 horses and my um, 100 babies games. And yeah, I kind of just forgot which one of those I had actually built it in. But turns out it was in my 100 horses save. So yay for me. I thought of what I was going to do with this little area here. So I decided we'll just make that um, like a tree or something. Oof. Slow. And then the same sort of thing over here. Uh, hopefully I'll get that right. No, I did not get that right. Oh, I don't know if that's right. I think it might be. So anyway, I hope you guys are well today and are living life to your best abilities and actually enjoying it. You know, not every day is an enjoyable day, but you can but try to have a good one. I'm just trying to decide, would it look better with a tree or flowers? I don't know. I feel like a tree is kind of more high school-y, but yeah, like that. I don't think that blocks it off. Nope. Kind of fits quite nicely, actually. Okay, so we are going on the interior and we're going to be building the inside of our high school today, which I'm excited about. So last in the last episode, we actually planned out how this is going to work. I'm almost wondering if I should split these rooms because they're quite large. But eh, we'll see how we go. There's no, no, no uh, worries about having, like, you know, extra room. So we're going to have, like, a computer lab there and music slash art room here. Hi, everyone. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, Koala. Hi, Vivi. Welcome along. I am just uh, building the inside of my high school, if you guys remember that from last week. So, um, yeah, so we're going to have, like, the entrance area here. I'm not 100% what to do in that area. So we'll come up with something, and we're going to have our cafeteria here, classrooms here and here, and hangout sort of areas here, locker areas, you know, that sort of thing, where the kids kind of romp around and have some fun. And we're going to have a staff room eating area over here. Woo! What was that? Hello? Oh, hi, Astro Haven. Hi, Astro. Thank you for following. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're well. It's nice to have you here. And you know what, um, I think, uh, obviously Koala you know, but VV Astro's in our versus um, save that we're doing. Uh, versus, what is it, battle, uh, battle collaboration, reno collaboration uh, thing, which is very cool. So I've gotten to know Astro through that and um, it's been fun. We've been doing really well in that. I've had a lot of fun with uh, putting that together. I've still got to take some photos and stuff, but. Yeah, that's something that we're going to do, like, voting on Twitter, I think it is. Koala? Yeah, Sims 4 Reno Challenge. Uh, how do you get to those lots? Okay, well, basically, if you go into the lot and up here, up in the corner here, you've actually got the lot type. Uh, so it's a special venue. So we can actually uh, just, it's just the same as on, I guess, any, any kind of build. You just go into the build via... Uh, your manager worlds and you just select the build option so yeah you get to change it around and do all sorts of things which is pretty cool i need some interior doors guys so we've got medium walls but you know what of course there is no interior doors for medium walls or large walls at that but i think like something like this for a high school actually kind of makes sense like having a glass door for the interior would be quite cool um, I don't know. What do we got on the front door here? This one. Let's just keep this super dark right there. there. Hmm. Is there one that is going to work? Like we have these ones. 
they're quite large but that's fine because we've got a lot of space so we can have like really super large be um not bedroom <laughs> classroom doors and stuff like that are they too large that's the question i can't match people build vibes so i didn't enter oh it's been a lot of fun it's just um we've had we uh what do we oh i think koala can explain this better than i can but we've uh, done koala renovated a house because she's amazing and then once she'd finished renovating their house she split the house into 10 rooms oh actually i need that there what am i doing where are the stairs oh there uh so once it was split into 10 rooms she got 20 people to partake in this ads oh yeah I'll, I'll wait till after ads to explain that so uh, i need a smaller door for there Hmm, that one? Yeah. And we'll do that there. You had some draw dragons roaring at you. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I just waited to explain it uh, until you were back. Uh, right, so we had a house that was renovated by a koala. And it's like a cool little magic house and it looks absolutely stunning. And she split that into 10 rooms and then got 20 people to participate in this uh, battle collaboration where uh, each person took a room or like two rooms in the case of smaller rooms. And yeah, basically we had to decorate these rooms and it's actually still in progress. So we've got a few more days left to, to do it. And then it's going up for vote on Twitter which should be amazing fun and uh, we'll see how it sort of goes so each of the so each team um so there's two teams of 10 and i will see what the results are i really don't know but i've had a lot of fun doing it and yeah astro is part of that <laughs> oh, so that was a long-winded convoluted really badly explained <laughs> challenge so i apologize koala for moosing that up royally it is uh nine o'clock in the morning so you know and i haven't had my mum juice yet hi obsessed summer happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday obsessed summer you're amazing and i love you haha <laughs> yeah everyone's kitchens and bed bathrooms and bedrooms i mean they're all absolutely gorgeous i got to do the entrance way is that a spoiler i don't know but i did <laughs> so i got the first room which is pretty fun what 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 is on the walls uh in a high school i don't know i can't remember is it sort of concretey uh maybe wood Mm, I'm thinking maybe plaster or concrete kind of makes sense, right? I don't think they'd have wood paneling. Um, hmm, there is the for rent plaster, which is quite good. And I imagine like a really neutral color. We're definitely going to do neutral color. Um, where is it? Here. So I did the show landscaping floor plan. People picked a number for their rooms. Two teams against each other for the same rooms. Yes. So it's very versus, which is quite fun. Never done anything like that before. And I got to be the team leader, which I don't remember signing up for, but I just somehow got to be the team leader. But that was fine. <laughs> See, I quite like that. I mean, it's very neutral, but it kind of works with the floors. And maybe we'll do like a tile on the wall in the bathroom and i'll definitely change the bathroom stalls really what do you guys think i should do with that entrance area i don't know like i know you have like maybe a desk and everything like that so for uh sign-ins and you know what what you know that sort of thing but maybe some chairs some plants Oh, maybe I could do, you know how there's that wormhole generator that comes with get to work, I think it is. Could I pretend that's a metal detector? I think I maybe could. That would be quite cool. 
Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's just see how that looks. Because that's in either debug or live edit. Live, live. Uh, get to work. So let's see if I can find it. Debug. This one. Do you reckon we can get away with that? Pretending that's a metal detector. I mean, we don't really have we don't have metal detectors in New Zealand because we don't have uh, the gun problems. But yeah, that could be a cool metal detector. Why not bright wallpaper? I don't know. I just kind of thought that a school would have like really neutral wallpaper. But I could go bright. I mean, I don't I don't mind. Like, what kind of wallpaper do you think uh, would be a thing? Ooh, can we put a satellite dish on the roof? Aha, a couple of satellite dishes on the roof. Um, yeah, I don't know what what sort of color, what what wallpaper do you think? Because I could certainly go bright. I just was thinking quite neutral for the high school, but all good. I'm always thinking we can maybe do like a half half wall kind of situation going on there, and do like the loudspeakers above there. So that you can see over the corridor from the entrance. I think that would be quite neat. Let's try that and see how that goes. Uh, get out of those. Was I using a particular column? No, I don't think I was. Okay. I'm going to go like that and like that. Like that and like that. And I'll do a spandrel on the top. Go like a big one like that. Um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions for what colour on the walls and stuff, I'm quite happy to, to take those suggestions and try it out. Why not? I say, I say, I say, I say. And like that. Uh, I think I'll have to change that spandrel. That looks a bit weird, but that is cool. Uh, that's the idea anyway. And just open it up a little bit. So you can sort of see the flow of the students and stuff going through, which I think would be a cool idea. You know, keep an eye on those little students who are up to no good. You have pastel colours? What shade? Like a blue or a pink? Or a yellow. I could see a yellow maybe in a, you know, in a blah, 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 blah. Uh, high school. I don't know, just like a really weird yellow though. Okay, so I'm going to change the desks around. I want like a quite a big intimidating burr kind of desk. You know, like, I am authority. <laughs> that reminds me of um, uh, Baldur's Gate and you're like all the time she's like authority you know uh, pastel was always the way with blue why like blue and mint pastel green okay so like lots of different colours well you know what what do you guys think like a pastel blue and then maybe we'll do like lilac and green in the different rooms we could do that I'm 100% down with that authority Ooh, we could use that. If they're doing pastel, then we should probably do light colored furnishings. Um, hmm, front desk like that. Yeah, maybe we could do like that admin. And I can do a row of like shells and stuff be uh, behind there, which would be quite cool. Okay, so let's go for a nice pastel blue. Each department had their own colour. Oh man, we I, I can't even remember what we had. I'm, I'm sure it was just really neutral. Really neutral and really bland. That's what I remember. Anyway, we have the perfect pack with for rent to uh, add our colours. Here we go. So we've got a beautiful pastel blue. Oh no, not on the outside. Don't go on the outside. Oh, naughty. Okay, so we'll do blue on the outside there. And then in the rooms, we'll have 
different colors so what color i reckon we should do like a pastel yellow in the cafeteria and we'll do i think we'll do blue in the classrooms oh no we should do different color in the classrooms so what have we got so then we can do that there and maybe a green there um what about a nice peachy color there and a brighter blue there let's go i think that's all oh and then cafeteria oh there's no yellow why is there no yellow for rent um okay we'll do a nice beautiful pastel yellow in there oh it's very bright stimulating for the children i don't remember the old building but halfway through school they demolished it and built a new one that i do remember oh interesting i think we'll do that same color because it's sort of the food area is yellow um oh high school is so long ago it makes me feel so old yeah <laughs> we could go i mean that's quite a bright but oh lilac we haven't done lilac Ooh, lilac gym and we'll just keep that peach there and then maybe we can have a nice gray for the office there we are lots of colors and i uh, will do that corridor in blue Ooh, okay we're going colorful i like it so I'll probably be a little bit higgledy-piggledy with how I build it because I've just been kind of maybe ideas as I go because I don't really know what I want to do with this front entrance area but I'm just going to pop some stuff here and see what happens. Like uh, maybe we could have little bookcases running along here. Ooh, yes. I do love a little bookcase. Should have just chosen the white, uh, the lighter <laughs> swatch before I placed it because i'm just gonna go through and change all the colors uh oh maybe i should do like mix up the colors a little bit so they look a little different it's okay it's worked out i've chosen the difficult path but i can walk it it's fine okay so we've got some like books and stuff like that along there uh entrance area and chair we need a chairs behind those your high school is very bland. Yeah, I think my high school is like greys, I think. I just remember greys and being like super neutral. That's all I sort of remember. I don't, um, yeah. Eh, that was a long time ago, to be fair. Ooh, we need a nice chair that'll work with our lovely pastels now. Something from high school years, right? Uh, what colour room have we got here? Blue. Okay. Oh, it's a blue chair. Yes. Okay, that's our little admin chairs. And we've got our wormhole generator metal detector. I'll actually change that to the lighter shade. Oh, this is so shadowed on the inside. Why are you so shadowed? I don't like that. But anyway, can't get around that. So maybe we could do some chairs. I think. I don't know. If we could get away with the Dream Home decorated chairs, I think they're going to be too curved. Is that too nice for a high school? Also, I don't like that at all. Um, <laughs> I think I kind of feel like you'd have more just a bench in a high school, right? Rather than um, a nice plushy couch. Like the nice plushy couch I'd picture in the staff room, but not out in the main area. Ooh. What about the unyielding bench? That looks good. For a high school, you know, bench. I do like some of this locked stuff that you get with Get to Work. There's some really cool stuff in there. I built like a little office uh, from that stuff recently. I haven't put that out yet, but I ha I did actually do one. It's so, like just a little room build, you know, a little quick one. Um, that could do, and maybe some plants of the potted variety i don't know what else would you guys put in the entrance your school gave you three graffiti walls outside uh oh so you, like um kind of like an artsy type thing just to get it out of your system in a safe place is that kind of the idea behind it well, it's not a bad idea i mean it's smart thinking it's rather rather than going around the community kind of graffitiing you know elsewhere you have a safe space to 
release your inner graffiti artist. So that kind of makes sense. I don't know why this is so black. Uh, I'm sure it will fix itself. I'm sure it's just a Sims little issue. Um, and maybe, oh, what if we had, you know, the rug that comes with high school years and it has like the school logo kind of stuff on it? Like this one. Grand Academic Floor Mosaic. That is absolutely perfect for our entrance. Uh, now, which one do we choose? Those are all sort of graffiti. Um, what do we have? Hang on a sec. We had a star. I don't think we have a star on this one because we went with a different pack. But I think that one might work. Schoolus la pluribus. That's what it is. It's something in Latin and yes, it'll do the <laughs> it'll do the job. Okay, I think that's pretty simple, but I don't think an entrance area to a high school is more about function than it is. Um and you know, and being welcoming, obviously. Having a lot of space. So we do need to have some railings going up here for the uh-huh. For the stairs. So we'll do that. We'll use the same ones as we used out there and then i don't know do you think we should do like the same sort of thing for the cafeteria here with the columns oh these are turned around i think that'd be cool maybe i'll try it and we'll see see how it looks but i think having like an open area where you can see in is actually quite cool i don't know how accurate it is for high school or might look a bit weird with that door I don't know. We'll see. Uh, redo that little bit there. Oh no, I've made everything yellow. Whoops. <laughs> I'll try not to make everything yellow. Oh, see, look, it's fixed itself. Uh, so that needs to be blue and then we'll just turn that around and we'll do a little half wall and see how that looks ah that needs to be blue come on Ooh, I wonder if we can copy that wall and just bring it across I think we probably can Oop. oh no no I can't <laughs> Uh, wizard rug. Oh, uh, yeah, from uh, Realm of Magic. Okay, I'll do this wall and then we'll try that and see how it looks. But I think I quite like that high school rug. The mosaic. It's very noble, very um, distinguished, you know? Taking pride in their school. Why does this keep changing? Why do you do this to me? Okay. Blue and blue. And then pink along. I mean yellow along here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that might be a bit weird. I don't think I like that. All right, while I decide on that, let's uh, do the wizard rug. Yeah. Let's just put that over there. <sighs> Rub of magic. Where are you? Like this one? Mm. No. I like this one. Sorry, Phoebe, but I like that one. It's more high schooly. But I am thinking, we have this grand academic floor mosaic. Maybe we could do it uh, like in through here as well, in the hangout areas, and through there. Very noble, very distinguished. I am going to get rid of this because I decided I don't like it, as you do. Uh, da, da, da. 
I guess, you know, there's a possibility of windows, but I think having windows looking out is just kind of weird as well. Yeah, I think that's definitely weird. Okay, well, we've got our colours and we have our entrance area, so that's cool. I'm happy with that. So let's work on our little hangout. The size bad in that rug. Agree with the high school ones. Okay, yeah, the size was bad in that rug. I'd have to, like, shrink it and I think then it would be too small and it would be issues. So, yeah, agreed. So we'll have our little uh, locker areas. Definitely need some more lights over here. What else do we have like near rock, uh, locker areas? <sighs> like we'd maybe have some chairs. Uh, what else would you have? So we've got like a little locker area. Should probably run along this wall as well. There's going to be lots of lockers. But that's okay. In theory, there's going to be a lot of kids. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how this is going to all look with the kids actually in uh, the high school and everybody milling around and uh, using all the things. That's quite exciting. So I'm really uh, quite excited to see how that will go. Um, oh, right, I'll get rid of those because that was my temporary seating. So we could have maybe that one running around. Uh, eh, no. Lots of seating. Uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe like a couple of study tables, like here and here. That would actually probably work, I think. Because you want to encourage kids to sit down and, and read their books and study and stuff. So I think that makes sense to me. To have like a couple of study tables. Uh, so the high school years one. Oh, we can use some of the brighter colors. I never use these brighter colors. So that's going to be fun. Uh, let's use maybe the bright blue in this area. Uh, there. And there. I think I want to keep that quite open because we want to encourage the kids to be walking in and out uh, and move that in one. Okay, and then there is the matching chairs. They're such weird chairs, but they're also kind of cool at the same time. I don't know, there's just something funky about them, but they're really weird and hard to use. <laughs> like, I, I, try, I find them really challenging to use in actual builds, but... Uh, I don't know. I think we can maybe get away with another one over here. But they are, I think they're quite cool. Like certain colours I think you can use, but other colours are like, yeah, really quite challenging to use. Particularly in a dining room setting. Uh, it might be a little squashy. I don't like that. I, I want to keep it really open. Now, uh, artwork, artwork, artwork. Maybe... What else would we have? I'm thinking uh, there's like some really cool debug in Get to Work. It's like, um, I think there's like a skeleton or something like that. That would be like really look really cool in the classrooms. But outside of the classrooms, I think it's just going to be pretty generic, right? It's going to be stuff that the kids can't really wreck. And, uh, you know, oh, like pennants and banners and stuff. <gasps> Something like that. That's the kind of stuff you would have on the wall, like little banners and pennants. Okay, let's see what we've got in high school years. What, are they, what have they given us? What can we use that's going to look, that's going to look cool? Uh, so we'll do debug light edit and we can have stuff like that oh yeah like decorated above the lockers oh we're gonna have pretty things all over the place it's gonna be a pretty high school that works quite well like that yeah, 
Because, I mean, you know, I think you have, like, decorations and stuff um, up when you're in high school for, like, dances and different events and stuff like that. Um, I mean, in theory, like, my high school didn't. <laughs> we didn't have too many events, but I assume, like, you know, bigger high schools might have that sort of thing. What else have we got? Snack attack. High school diploma. Ooh, decals. None of these would be any good. Oh, what's this one? <gasps> Ooh. That's quite cool. Don't think there's anything else useful there, but I do. What is this? Uh, devil and angel cats. Okay, with cheese and chili and onions and garlic. <laughs> what is that? Curtains. Do you have curtains in a high school? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Um, I don't, I can't see curtains in a high school. Maybe blinds. Maybe blinds. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Um, like that. Yeah, I think lines make sense. I don't see curtains. Oh, maybe. It depends on how modern it is. I think like an older high school maybe have curtains, but I think a newer one would be more inclined towards blinds, I would think. Them being a little more practical. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I actually quite like the blinds. I think that's a cool idea. We can make that work. I'll go through as I do that in the rooms. Uh, I'm rethinking the colour of these tables to work with the room. The room. What if we went with like a bright yellow or something? Just a contrast. I think that would be quite cool. Rather than do everything blue, you know? Lots of colours. Simulate the old mind of the kids. And maybe like a green on the other one. I don't want it to look like a kindergarten. I want it to look bright bright and cheerful and, you know, cool for the kids. Maybe I can do a different colour here. I was thinking maybe we get rid of one of those. There we go. Okay, so we've got like a little locker area, hangout area. Um, I was going to look in the debug here for high school years, wasn't I? Oh, I could have put that in the bag. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Curtains don't break, that's why we have them. Ah. Oh. So in the classrooms, yes, but I don't know about the hallways. Okay, curtains don't break, so it's fine there. So maybe you have the curtains just in the classrooms rather than the hallway. Okay, we'll do that then. I'll just follow you guys on that one. It's just been so long since I've been to high school. And I went to a really high, small high school, and also I went to a high school in New Zealand, which is probably a different experience from the Americanized high school, which we did not have, obviously. So uh, I'm just going to put like a sample one here so I can copy that later. Right. What else we got in debug? Oh. Uh, high school years. And let's look in debug. What have we got? Anything interesting? So we've got like, oh, there's a yellow golden champion football. We don't have that. Let's put that out there. Neat. What else we got? An ice cream pot, some high school workbooks, high school exam workbook. Hmm. Okay, live edit mode. What have we got in that? Uh, building, 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 building. Anything cool for the walls is what I'm looking for. Whether or not we're going to get anything cool, I don't know. I mean, we've got signs. What's that? <gasps> is that debug rugs? Ooh! That's handy. I didn't know there were debug rugs. Oh, 
Okay, I don't know if I'll need those, but that's still cool to know. Interesting. What else we got? Ooh, what's this? Ah, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like big banners to go on the walls. You know, um, I can just imagine like, you know, it's the big the big dance and everybody's off to go. And this is the dance committee's made a big sign for it. Oh, it kind of shadows on the wall though. Can I get it unshadowed? Oh, there we go. But it kind of sticks out a bit from the wall. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right. Never mind. Uh, nah. Ah. Well, there's nothing, nothing, not much useful stuff there. Is there any other pack that would have some cool banners and stuff that you guys can think of? I could just go through all the packs. I don't really want to. <laughs> If I'm being honest, it seems like a lot. Uh, there actually isn't too much there. Um, we have this. That's kind of more advertising. Tapestry. Uh, I imagine there's heaps of stuff in live edit that I probably could use, but whether or not I want to use it, I mean, ugh, no. City living's probably not the right vibe. That's more city living-ish. Uh, there were blinds in the administrative offices. Um, okay, well, we can put the blinds upstairs in the in the offices upstairs. We can definitely do that. Yeah, I don't remember having blinds or anything along those sorts of lines either. That graffiti's cool. Sign's cool. But not what we're looking for. Okay. Do, 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 do. What's this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, like, the picture and debug is kind of like, what on earth is that? Uh, is this going to be shadowy? Oh, <gasps> this isn't shadowy. Ew. We can have like the different little festival things. Yamachan! <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a little bit of Yamachan around the place. That's gonna be fun. And maybe we can put like another Yamachan over here. Oh, that's a that's a foodie one. That's awesome. That's kind of perfect. Yamachan food one. Uh, so that was another little wintry Yamachan. And then what's this one? Oh, that's another little food one, I think. I'm not going to put too many up. I'm going to go overboard. But still, that's quite a neat one. Oh, we could have like a little menu thing in the cafeteria. I did warn you guys I was going to be all over the place with this. So, you know, they're lining up and they can see the specials of the day, that sort of thing. That's neat. Uh, what else we got? Can't see anything else there. And we've got our cool rugs, debug rugs. Those banners don't really work. What are these? Oh no, they're huge. Ah, that's cool. I could see that totally in a um in a school yard type thing. I can maybe move the fountain and have like that. That's quite cool. I like that. I think that's really funky and like, you know, modern arty and bright and stuff for the kids at school. So oh, I like that. Sometimes you just really discover some little gems in debug, don't you? What's this? Oh, that's cool. I've never used that. You know, I have actually not spent much time in the Ferent um, debug. So maybe I need to do that. Ooh, cool. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Uh, so let's have a look at, so it's a live edit. So let's have a quick look in the debug, see if there's anything for walls. That'll be appropriate. That's the only reason I'm able to scan through so fast is I'm actually looking for wall stuff. Um. And I don't think we're going to get much. 
Meatles? No. There is that cable knit rug. That's a good free rug too. I always forget there's the odd free rug. So like if you're doing like a starter home and you need some cheap decorative stuff. Well, by cheap, I mean free. <laughs> then, you know, there is a little, there's a few little bits and pieces in, uh, in D-Bag. Uh, Crystal Creations. Oh, not a lot of wall stuff, eh? No. I don't think we're going to get like, when we got... I, I think we'll just get out of D-Bag. I don't think it's going to help us today with that sort of stuff. Is that sort of that? Oh, they actually, these are quite good. Because these are science-y. <gasps> these might be good in the classroom. So we can have like a science-y type thing. What? Oh, there's a whole heap. Okay, cool. All right. That's quite funky. Actually, I really like that. I haven't used those much. Thank you, tree getting in the way. What pack is that from? I can't find it now. <laughs> it's all coming up and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, this space game. I've never really used those. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, pancakes. Mmm, pancakes. Yum. I love pancakes. Actually, I'm getting, getting kind of hungry, so pancakes sounds good. Oh, what's this? Where did these come from? I'm sure, like, I, I've never really used them. These could be cool. Okay. And there's, like, the celebrity tiles. Those could be quite useful. But maybe, I, I think we're happy with what we've done as far as the floor rug goes. I think that suits perfectly. Okay. I'm sure I've seen these, but these ones I haven't really, I don't know. I don't know if I've used those before. That's cool. Snowy escape vending. Oh, yes. Snowy escape vending machines. Thank you. That would be absolutely perfect. We're going to have those all over the cafeteria. Well, not all over, but you know. There's going to be a few. Snowy escape. So let's go show all because I don't know where they are. I don't really use vending machines, I've got to say. Are they, in, are they a debug item? They must be. Do, 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 do. Ah, here they are. Alrighty. So we've got the vending machine. Oh. I reckon we should just do like two rows. These are so cool. And Japan is so like that as well with like all the vending machines and stuff. Well, that's what my memory was. It's been a long time since I've been to Japan, so maybe it's changed. But I do remember they had like vending machines for basically everything. It was so cool. Coming from, you know, little old New Zealand who was rather behind the times. You know, that's quite funky. Um, okay, so I'll do some tables and stuff in there. So that's cool. So I think outside this area here, pretty happy. So I'm thinking some posters for along here. I don't think we need anything else along the corridor. You kind of got to keep the corridors clear. Really, because the kids are going to have to be walking along them. And, you know, it's going to get crowded if you have, like, heaps of stuff along there. So what sort of things have we got that we can put up on the walls? <gasps> Spirit. Spirit signs. Yes. Oh, it's got the university, of course. That'll have stuff. Oh, uh, uh. That's another school pack. Dadoi. Okay. Um, now we're going to just do the same sort of thing over here. We'll just do tables and some lockers and bits and pieces. And build that out. Unless you guys think we should do like a different area here. 
Because we found like quite a big locker area over there. Maybe, yeah, let's do something different here. Let's grab the lockers. Because we've got like, a huge locker area over here. What could we have here? Um, what about an open library? There is a periodic table and artistic assembly item, I believe. Um, in high school years. Because I think you're right. I have actually used that before. I'm just wondering, what, what, what if we did like an open library? That would be quite cool. And just have like heaps of bookshelves and stuff and like make a study area. I want to do that. I don't know if that's a thing that you would have in a high school, but I want to do that. Let's, let's do it. Let's make it happen. <gasps> oh, you know what I'm going to use though? Crystal creation bookshelves, because I love them. Because they are awesome bookshelves. You know what I really um, like about this? is the little cute little ladder. And should we bring that in and in? I wonder how this is going to fit along here, though. Oh, that was meant to be. That was absolutely perfect. Oh, my. Yes, high school paintings catalog. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I'll use that in the in one of the classrooms. Because that's a, that's a cool one. I agree. I, I Yeah, I have used that before. It's been a while, but I have used it before. Um, in, like, a teenager boy bedroom, I think. So... Oh, yeah, I thought that was quite a cool little poster. Uh, let's do maybe orange. Uh, which one did we, we do these ones, didn't we? Well, that orange is bright. <laughs> it's a bright orange. But like a little study nook there. Um, <laughs> that orange is obnoxious. <laughs> I love it. Maybe there, and this is not going to fit so well. I wonder if we have another bookcase that fits size-wise in the middle. That doesn't look stupid. Could go something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, that kind of works. But it's kind of too, but I think that's a bit too homey. It's a bit too homey. As in a home item kind of thing. Not as in a wear your pants down around your ankles kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I just sounded like an old woman then. <laughs> it's like, oh, these kids today wear their pants around their ankles. Oh, yuck. That's disgusting. I honestly don't care what you wear. <laughs> As long as I don't actually have to see people's bottoms, I don't really care how they wear their pants. Not a big concern for me. Let's just put it that way. But these kids today are always wearing things around their bottom. Oh, old Vel old 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 lady velvet. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna be, old lady velvet. Oh yes, kids today, always up to something. Um, okay, so we've got kind of like a little cute little study area. Huh, it's hard to fill like this high school space. What else do we need to put in here? Oh, I've done all the requirements. Oh, that's right. So, what else do we have in our, let's do some chess tables. Chess tables are good. Little activity tables. So, you know, you have the chess could chess club playing out here obviously we want to use the high school years chess tables because they're the best chess tables nerd central watch out nerds here they come oh speaking of nerds i'm re-watching um the big bang theory at the moment Oh, I'm so enjoying it. It's just such a fun show. And it's just like, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of get because 
I guess I'm a bit of a nerd <laughs> at the end of the day. And uh, it's just fun, you know, fun humour. I, I enjoy the Big Bang Theory. It's I sort of only started watching it for the first time, I think last year actually. Because I didn't, I wasn't watching it during like the big, when it was all sort of big and the number one show and that sort of thing. I never watched it then because I didn't think it was going to be my thing. But I decided to give it a go and it ended up very much being my thing. I've got to say. Just one of those things I really like. Just easy, easy to watch and super chill. And you don't have to concentrate on t on it too much, which is really nice. Uh, which is... So I think it's this one here that has like the sciencey stuff, right? Yeah. And what else we got? Oh, yes. We have a llama. Aha! What else have we got here? That's kind of bedroomy. Oh, there's the periodic table. Aha, aha, aha. I'll just put that there. We definitely want that. I mean, this could be quite like bannerish as well. But that's a bit bedroomy. I think that's quite cool too. For a classroom. And that's something about success, so that's great. What else we got here? I don't know what this is, but at least I just put it up on the wall. I feel like that's kind of advicey. Woo, there we go. Maybe one bigger, just so it's not looking so samey same. There we go. Mixes it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got a little chess area, and I'm just going to put some seats in here, I think, just to have a little seating area. So we'll do our unyielding bench, and maybe a nice little plant. It's, it's hard to not just put all the pretty things because you've got to be kind of practical about what what goes there. And you probably wouldn't have a plant in a high school, to be fair. But I kind of want to put one. Oh, remember to save. Thank you very much, Obsessed Simmer. I will remember to save. Thank you, birthday girl. I appreciate you. Saving time. Yes. Oh, time for a stretch too. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, chess area. I don't know. Do we want a cheerleading cheerleading mat? What if the cheerleaders want to do like some exercise? Nah, I think that's probably a bit weird. Ooh, a cheerleading trophy. We should do. Oh, you know what we could do? Oh, trophy case. Uh, that's base game. I'm sure. Yes. No. High school years. Yeah. Trophy cabinet. Uh, it's probably better against the wall, but what if I did a back-to-back -back thing? Like that. And have like a wall of excellence let's call it that a wall of excellence okay let's do this oh my gosh i've been pottering around for an hour i really am going slow today i better pick it up a little bit i've been indecisive although to be fair we've got little bits and pieces from around the place so, there and there, and we've got a lovely wall of trophy goodness. Okay, I think we've mixed it up a little bit, which I'm really happy with. I think having two locker areas was going to be a bit much, so. Yeah, and I do like the different colours and the corridors and stuff. I think that's cool. Okay, cafeteria area. I mean, we've got our vending machines. We've got some bright wall stuff. We just need some tables in here, and I think we're about done with that. I don't think we need anything else in the cafeteria and I think we'll just stick with the same tables so one two 
three and four. And this, what colours we're going to do? Red, uh, brown, green. Actually, this is all the brown versions. And what have I got? Blue. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that one? Three, four. I mean, because they've got all their outdoor area. And we did keep it sheltered. So if they go outside, I mean, you know, on a, on a rainy day, that's not the biggest deal in the world, right? They'll survive. They won't melt. That's such a mum thing to say to your kids, right? You won't melt if you go outside. You'll be fine. It's just a little drizzle. Okay, so we've got our lovely bright colours there. Living that high school cafeteria dream. I'm thinking maybe we should put... What if we have the cafeteria uh, line? It kind of makes sense to have like that there. In realist, if we're going to be realistic, um, you would have uh, an attached kitchen, really, wouldn't you? But, eh, oh well. I don't really have space for a kitchen. Well, I probably do have space for a kitchen, but I'm not going to I'm not going to make a kitchen because you don't actually need one. Wondering if there's like maybe. Nah, I don't think we need anything behind there. I was just wondering if we should have like the bar, one of the bar backs or like pantry stuff, but I don't think so. I think we'll just keep it pretty simple and easy like that. Bring that in a little bit. Here we are. Lots of little cafeteria space. Now, bathrooms. We're going to have some sinks. Oops, I was going to say I think I hit the wrong thing there. No warning. <laughs> Did you get a fright from that VV? <laughs> oh, yeah, dear. Yeah, that noise is really quite loud. Um, hmm. What about this one? You know what? I want to do the grind together one because I like that one. And, you know, it fits quite nicely beside each other like that will that fit though by that door that door is so obnoxiously big eh that'll be fine the door doesn't start till the middle part right it'll be fine it's just a light sprinkling you won't melt because if kids have an excuse to complain about something, they generally will. Well, my kids do anyway. It's like, oh, do we have to work, walk to school today? Yep. Well, you can just drive in the car. Nah. It's my exercise. I'm going to make them walk. Sorry, kids. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can have like a communal kind of mirror thing going on. You know, shared mirror. Now, I do need a tile for the walls. Uh, so we've got toilet and that. Do we need showers? Do we need showers? I mean, we don't... Oh, I'll put one up in the gym area. That's what I'll do. There we go. Problem solved. We'll have a shower area up in the gym. Ka-ching! Problem solved. Um, I'm always thinking like a cool, like, faux brick wall to actually look quite cool in the bathroom. You know, rather than going for the tile, mix it up a little bit. And what if we have different colours? Just for fun. We're just having fun with this build. It's going to be bright and cheerful and colourful and not like my high school experience, which was very neutral and bland. And I just got through it as quickly as I could. I didn't hate high school. I didn't have any problems at high school. 
really. It was just, it was just fine. <laughs> it was just a neutral, fine experience where I met some good friends and that's about that. That was about it for my high school experience. It was nothing exciting. I actually had to move, we uh, moved towns when I was 14. So I actually had to like make a whole lot of new friends when I, yeah, started, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, uh, form something or other. Form three, four, five, form five. I don't know what 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 the equivalent is today. I can't work out maths as well as talk, apparently. Okay, um, so yeah, so that was the thing, making a whole lot of friends as a teenager. It was fine though. I actually met my um my best friend in real life there, so it worked out for the best, and we're still friends today. Okay, so we've got our lovely piano. I'm gonna do it like oh bright color yes so we're gonna kind of do half and half maybe half arts half music and I think we probably need some like arm chairs and stuff so they can sit down and play their instruments um, maybe not anything too comfortable we go uh, maybe talking actually maybe we're talking maybe dining chairs kind of vibe You're more or less invisible. You're lucky you added in real life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's quite an achievement. What? Getting through high school? <laughs> it was quite an achievement. Um, without you know, too many problems? Yeah, probably. Quite, a, uh, quite an achievement. Oh, there we go. Oh, somebody's playing. The birthday girl is playing Stardew Valley. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see how it is. Out there playing her favorite game in the world, Stardew Valley, which she plays with every other person on the planet. Apparently. Still being friends with school. Uh, yeah, 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 I am. Uh, so, yeah, we're still best friends after all of these many, many, many years. It's been a long time. and But we unfortunately live in different cities. So we don't get to see each other very often, but we do still talk via phone and everything like that. So, well, not talk, talk, you know, as in text and message and, you know, that sort of thing. What other instruments are there? And also, why isn't there drums in the game? Like, that's a big omission, right? Not having any drums in the game. Uh, maybe we'll do just a keyboard. That's something a little different. But yeah, why isn't there drums in the game? That's an odd thing. Okay, there's really a lack of music intro. Oh, you know what? I'm finally going to be able to use these darn jazzy pitches that I can never use in anything. Oh my god, that's giant. <laughs> I can't. They're so ugly. <laughs> it's just like, what can I use these jazzy pitches for? A music room. But no, they're too ugly for the music room. I'm sorry, jazzy pitches. They, they really, really are just really not good uh, just why why are they purple why couldn't they have like a different background to them I would actually be able to use them with a different background but with the purple background it just makes it so hard unless you're doing a purpley kind of room oh here's another one. Oh no way too big uh yeah, anyway, wasn't able to use them. That's fine. It's fine. I, I did think about it at least. Is there anything music -y in the posters? Can we pretend she's a musician? Yes, I can. I can do what I like. <laughs> it's my build. I'm going to pretend she's a thing. They, uh, drums were in Sims 4. I don't know why they didn't give it to us in Sims 4. They were for a dance club or whatever club. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, um, you know, I wouldn't know, having not really played Sims 4. Uh, 3. I actually, you know, I played it for, like, less than an hour. Because I got it recently. And 
I, I gave it a little try out. I actually haven't had time to go back to it. As you do. Okay, art stuff. Now, there is plenty of arty type things. I just have to find them. You know, those drawing things that come up under lot. Ooh. That's a good sciencey poster for the classroom. Anyway, these ones. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Ooh, risque for a classroom. There we go. We've got some arty stuff on the walls. Yes, that's what we like. I'm not going to go overboard with it, uh, but I will do like a few different easels, like some of the locked easels and stuff. That's fun, mixing it up a bit. And there is that little... I know there's a little art table thing in debug. I can't remember which pack. Do you remember which pack koala that is that's in? I honestly I, I haven't used it enough to actually memorize which which one that's in as yet. Um I'm always thinking maybe a table. Uh, let's do a couple of those arty tables. I will go into debug and see if I can find it. But I can't remember which pack it's from, unfortunately. I'm not as good at remembering the packs in debug as I am in actual pack world. Because I don't actually, as much as I use debug for landscaping, I actually don't use the item debug so much. That is something I don't use as much at all. Um, I don't really, not, not for any particular reason, I just find it annoying to search through so and I'm lazy and I'm just like eh, I can't be bothered <laughs> and that's essentially what it boils down to it's like eh, I can't be bothered searching through debug for stuff I'll just use what's in the game because I remember where that is <laughs> oh, and that's just that's just me in a nutshell oh there's some cool little arty things here Ooh, those are quite cute Oh, fancy. Move that one over here. There we go. Ooh, all sorts of arty stuff. Um, the art table is in debug. Yeah, but which, which pack is it in debug? That's the question. I know it's in debug, but I just don't know where in debug. So if I can narrow it down by pack, that does make it a lot quicker to find. But I just don't know where about uh, which pack it's from, the arty stuff. Is it just base game? Because, you know, if you can just narrow it down... That makes life a little easier. But I know it's here. It's just weird. Ooh, there's a little stool there. <sighs> you know what? I need to do like a really good debug sort through and like do a room with like cool debug stuff that I want to use. But that's a real time consuming thing. And some days I just don't have the time. Uh, base game sculptures. Oh, fabulous. Thank you very much. Base game. sculptures there you go see I think koala's definitely a little bit more of an expert on debug than I am I feel like that's true yeah you know, I'm actually going to grab that computer hard drive and we're going to put that in our computer science lab so we'll do that uh, sculptures Where are you? Don't drift. Don't drift, you screen. You. I can't see it. Okay. Why has you been doing this to me? Why has you been so hiding? Some chicken live edit. See if it's in there. Ooh. I mean, at least um, if we're narrowing it down to get base game, it is a little bit easier to find through. Hopefully. We'll see. I mean, I was actually, I found it and I was using it the other day. So I didn't just pay attention, unfortunately, to where I found it. 
but I want to have it because it's a cute little art table and it's perfect. You can find it in the ordinary catalog. Can you? Is it a locked item? I hope we're talking about the same table. Ah, uh, oh, here it is. Yes. Artiste Supply Tabaret. This is it. It's a locked item. Of course it is. Perfect. That's the one. I mean, it's so cute. It's got like the different little things on there. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. There's some really cool stuff in the locked stuff. I wish they did more locked stuff, to be honest. It's fun unlocking like really cool items and stuff through career. Uh, I might just do a cool chair in the middle, like a cool couch, which does not have to be a base cam. Just a big, comfy, kind of playing your instruments, doing your art kind of hangout. Actually, what about this? I've never found a reason to f use this sofa, but that could be the reason. Okay. Um, oh, I hate the paintings under there. Like these, these look really good. These look really terrible. Thank you, Koala, for your help. We found it. We found it. We got there in the end. I wonder if there's any cool things here. Ooh, there we go. That's something cool. Thank you very much, stranger. Well, I'm just, I have to get rid of these. They just look terrible. I don't like them at all. Changing it up. I'm not going to have anything musicy, but that's fine. If there's like some cool musical notes or something, that would be quite cool. But no, there's not. That I know of anyway. We could advertise uh, musical, I mean, not musical, um, energy drinks. Oh, the colours. The colours, the colours, the colours. I'm getting too fussy, I think. Oh, musical instrument! Oh, yes! Yay! I found something with a musical instrument. That makes me so happy. Oh, and you know what? There's like a, there's another musical instrument. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm on a roll. I spoke too soon. There's too many things. And you know what? There's, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. there's the CD thing as well. That could be like a cool retro thing that the kids are like into. <gasps> and uh, wolf guitar. Yes. What else we got? I don't even think about bands, right? Bands, da doi. Of course, that's going to be a cool thing to have on the wall. And you know what? I, I kind of picture the the music guy, right? The music professor dude, and he was all like trying to be hip with the kids and stuff. He's like, oh yeah, I really love that cool band. I'm really hip like you, you know? He's one of those dudes. Um, what is it? It's high school years. Sometimes I can't see the forest for the trees. There it is. CDs. And there's like a vinyl one as well. Oh, maybe if we made the CDs, that would actually make more sense. Uh, you can have like four, three or four different swatches of guitar next to each other. <gasps> yes, like some more guitars. Good idea. Let's do that as well. Because there's like heaps of different uh, guitars, so we could do that too. Because we did like different easels, and we can do some a couple more violins. Uh, which one have we done? We've done that one. Okay. Okay. So I'll do like a cool guitar here. Cool guitar here. This actually, why is this? There's like four, five, six different types of guitars in the game. Right? Oh, that's a funky guitar. Actually, that matches that. 
hey, that's good, that guitar. Haha, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, yeah, there's like so many swatches of guitar and there's no drums. Sometimes it's just bewildering. No, there's even more. There's even more guitars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guitars. No drums. There's not, uh, you know, a trumpet. Nothing. Ooh. It's another little easel there. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Just banging on about that. But hey, we've got a cool music room. Yeah, we could maybe go like that and get rid of that couch. That's better. And bring that forward. Another one there. And bring that out. But yeah, so many guitars. And a giant other lack of things. Why do we need so many different guitar swatches? That's what I want to know. Okay, so I'm going to do our computer sciencey room. So that's going to be pretty basic. I'm not going to do anything too crazy in here. Just would have some desks where they can do some computering. One and two. One and two. I reckon. What is it? Eight desks should be enough, right? I think so. And I'll do uh, some bookshelves as well. I think that'll look quite cool. What 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 have I used? I don't know. I think we'll just do that. Nice and plain and simple. Blue. That kind of looks computer labby, I think. And we'll just put a blocky kind of old, this is a definitely not up to date computer that we can afford only through funding through school fundraising. There we go, computer lab and we've got the hard drive there. Somebody was fixing that and I will do... Oh, that's quite a cool. Eh, I'll leave it as is. Uh, some bookshelves. <laughs> Hopefully that's still usable. I do like a... You know what? The Strangerville pack is really good. I've got to say, like, the build buy is really good. The gameplay is really good. The world is actually really cool. Yeah. I rate the, I rate the Strangerville pack really quite highly, actually. Which, when you look at it, you think, you don't actually think, like, for me, anyway, when I was looking at which packs to buy and stuff like that, when I was looking at Strangerville, I was like, oh, I don't know about that one. I don't think that's me. And so it actually took me a long time to buy it because I just didn't really see the appeal in it. But when I actually finally got around to it and then I finally got around to actually playing it and doing like building with it and stuff like that, I was just like, oh, this is so good. So yeah, I think Strangerville is definitely one of those packs that can fly under the radar if you don't really, if you haven't been paying attention to it and stuff. It yeah, can definitely fly under the radar. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? The uh, headphones. Are they under head? Yes, they are. Because I feel like they would have headphones. Maybe they might have a sanitizing station for them. But maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. The Sims will be fine. I think they'll survive. But anyway, yes. Strangerville. I love Strangerville. As a pack. I rate the world. I rate the build by. Um, I rate basically everything about it. It's a cool pack. Oh, shh. That's a cool one. I've never used that before. Uh, 
Oh, there's so many hidden little gems around there, around in, in these little posters. Shh, quiet. They're studying. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, anyway, banging on about Strangerville, but, you know, one of those things. I don't think I used that before, right? So I'm going to use that again. I'm going to use that over there. I feel like that's science-y. Oh, I know. Let's put a cork board up. I didn't even think about that. A notice board. A uh, duh. I wonder if I could have maybe a couple of notice boards actually rather than those. Have a couple of big notice boards. Like, here's our things. See our things. Join this club. Do this thing. Okay, so we've got um uh, blah, blah, blah. we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got our bathrooms. So we've just got our classrooms downstairs to do. And then we're going to move upstairs and quickly finish that. And then we're going to play it. I'm excited to actually see how this all works. It's going to be cool. So, uh, I need a desk for the teacher. Something teachery. What was this desk? Oh, mission control. Cool. Uh, teacher's desk. I mean, obviously... Gagur, it's a teacher's desk. If we're going to have a teacher's chair, we're going to have a teacher's desk. Uh, seat of justice, there we go. And we can maybe put like a bookshelf in behind there. I'm just going to do the crystal creations one in behind there. And... I was thinking like a little, uh, you know what, I really want like a short clutter shelf. I've been actually wanting one for quite a while, which has had like, you know, little bits and pieces on it. Like even shorter than that. Just something that can go under windows and stuff. Am I asking too much? Maybe I am. Could maybe run those under there. Hmm, hang on, let me go into surfaces. Let's have a look in Dream Home Decorator, see what we can find. Surfaces, display. These are these ones too. Oh, these ones here. Here we go. Speaking of things, uh, and actually, you know, I quite like the idea of a contrast colour. Ooh, with a blue, that's quite cool. And then I can run books in there as well. I do like these ones here because they're like folders. I wish it didn't have the bunny on it though. Like the school binders. Anyway. This teacher has an obsession with bunnies. It's fine. It's perfectly normal. No biggie. Uh, so that there and that there. See, look. Obsession with bunnies. There we go, coming together like a treat. And we just need some classroom desks now. So we've got our whiteboard, we've got our teacher's room. Oh, we just need some stuff on the wall. So this is maybe going to be sciencey type room. Ooh, big prints. We're exploring space for the first time. I don't know. There's like a few different swatches, so I kind of want to see. There's heaps of different swatches. Ooh. You know what? I think I have used these. It's just been ages. I think I've forgotten about them. Sneaky little window. Okay, let's put in our desks. So there is some student desks that come with high school years. So we'll use those. These ones. Classroom desk. Ah, uh, what colour? Should we do blue? There, blue. I'm just thinking there isn't actually a blue that matches that blue. 
I was gonna try and match those, but no. That's okay. Let's use yellow. Just mix it up a bit. I don't know how many we should have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is not evenly spaced. Uh, but I feel like twelve is a good classroom size, right? I mean, it's smaller than like an average classroom. Normally you would have like way more than that. Yeah, let's just go with that. And we'll do the matching yellow chair. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. Getting hungry. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to go and to get to work and have a look at their locked stuff and then the debug because I'm sure there's like skeletons and stuff for like the doctor's career and bits and pieces which I thought would be quite cool but I just gotta find them because as I said I was mucking around with get to work the other day yes here it is like skelly sim like him, like they're doing anatomy and stuff. That's cool. I don't know if there's anything else that's going to be really particular. Like this uh, clock, definitely. Need a clock above the thing because you got to keep an eye on the time and make sure that, you know, we're not going overtime for the class. Because, you know, kids got to keep an eye on that sort of thing. This little wheelie book thing. I thought there might have been more, but that's all right. A skeleton is quite cool. So we've got a nice bright classroom full of bright prints. And then this room, I think we can maybe, we've got like posters and stuff. So that's cool. We'll do a periodic table. They're both sciencey rooms because that's what I've got posters for. It's fine. It looks nice with the blue, uh, with the green walls actually. Oh, I was going to do the blinds. See, this is why I put that blind there. So I remembered. Um, Now... Let's do that one there. There we go. That's why I remember. Enjoy the rest of the stream. I'm going to clock in since I must be up early tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Vivi. I will catch you later. Thanks for watching and uh, you have a good day. I appreciate you. Okay, so we're getting our blinds in, which makes sense because sometimes you have like your projections and stuff like that and you've got to or you're watching movies because i remember at school we watched the odd movie like we watched romeo and juliet like the original one from i think it was the 70s i'm not really sure i can't remember when it was it was, it was, not, it was definitely not the <laughs> leonardo DiCaprio one unfortunately because i love that movie um yeah so anyway we would watch the odd movie, like, yeah, as I said, Leonardo, uh, not Leonardo DiCaprio. I wish I was watching Leonardo DiCaprio movies at high school. I wish. Uh, yeah, Shakespeare. Anyway, watched movies and we would have to, you know, close the blinds and stuff to watch movies. So that movie, that memory is coming back to me. I remember that now. Um, I don't know what colour, that colour. There we go. And we'll do a bookshelf in behind there. So it does make sense to me that there is blinds in behind the class. I mean, the on the windows, if that makes sense. I think we'll do a couple of bookshelves for her. I imagine this is a female teacher. I don't know why. And we'll do some more of the things under the shelves. So surfaces. And it was this one here, right? So I think we'll do pink for along here. And this, funnily enough, because we are really into rabbits, this teacher is also into rabbits. It's a rabbit high school. I don't know, maybe there was a big a sale on rabbit in bookings. I don't know. It's possible. And a polar bear bookend. <laughs> I don't know it's possible there's so many so many sales on odd bookends how about that 
Okay, so we are going to get that and that. And we'll get the classroom desks. Copy and paste. And we did 12, right? So I reckon we'll do pink. Oh no, because we kind of did yellow in the other one. Let's go... Go kind of orange. It's kind of like a salmon-y colour, isn't it? Oh, that is not remotely... Not remotely good. Scented, is what I mean. There we go. That's close. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Two, three, and four. Copy the chair. And I just need something over for over the corner as well. Um, okay, well we're going we're very light and pastel and bright. There's really not the direction I thought that we would go. Uh, I have to say, for when we decorated this. Ooh, we could do that. Um, when we decorated this high school. But you know what? What if we had a hamster in the classroom? <gasps> what a good idea. That's the kind of thing they have in high school, like little pets. You know? That's a cool idea. Hamster! Cute. What's the difference? Is there two different things? Is there like, I've never actually had them. Whiskers and bubbleless. I don't know. Whatever. Cool. We've got a cool little thing. Uh, it's called a pet. Classroom. There we go. Bright colours. Yeah, anyway, I was not envisioning uh, bright colours for this, but that's cool. I always like... You know, doing different things and exploring different things and trying different things. And yeah, I didn't think pastel for classrooms. I, I was just honestly thinking quite neutral and bland and yeah. But we have brought it to life. Okay, so I think that's the downstairs area done. So let's go upstairs. So admin offices. What was I going to do in the admin office? Oh, I was going to do blinds, but we've got um, curved windows, so I'm not going to do that. In the end, because I don't know, don't know how the blinds are actually going to go, go on a curved window. Yes, I know I need a principal's desk. Oh. Calm down. Requirements, calm down. So I reckon um, have... These desks here. Oh, curved room, right? Not the easiest room to build in. So we'll get this done. So we've got a couple of admin desks. And then we're going to have the principal's desk and the vice principal's desk up here. Like so. Okay. And I'm thinking bookshelf there for all of their worldly knowledge to be stored in. Yes, thank you very much. And probably another one over here. And another one over here. Why not? Got lots of things to store. And another one there. Let's go crazy on the bookshelves. So I need some chairs. Mm. It does bug me that there isn't like a really light swatch. That's probably the closest I'm going to have. And we'll do computers. I'm not going to overly clutter it. I could go crazy, but I am conscious of the fact that I've been doing this for um, almost an hour and a half. And eh, I can always uh, fix it later if I want to. But well, let's just get the base basics in place and then we can give it a go and see how it all goes. But I think, you know, you don't want to have it heaps of clutter and that sort of thing because it is a workplace rather than a place of living. So you're going to be more conscious of that. 
and you know the fact that you, there's a bit of professionalism involved and you're not going to bring so much clutter and bits and pieces to the workplace I would think I mean I wouldn't I mean but that's just me maybe maybe I'm just boring who knows okay so I reckon they would have a rug maybe a rug each I'm gonna go with you know a little bit fancy let's go with this little stripy rug there and maybe we can just go with a plain chocolate one here we can get away with that in that room and then the admin desk what should we do there I feel like this is our neutral office area it's the neutral area of my dreams <laughs> all velvet wants is a neutral area ah that'll do that'll do okay that's our little office so now we have well we're gonna do a library up here but we've kind of got a, like a library downstairs so I need something else to go in that space but I don't know what hmm that's a good question okay so I'm gonna build oh I didn't do rooms I meant to do doors for this room oopsie silly me uh right so oh, what have i done hang on yikes 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 i have completely bogged this up let's go like this like this um because you can't access the offices through the gym and i mean that makes no sense to off to access the offices through the gym or the whatever the other room's going to be it's like why would you do that so we'll have a, a corridor space a larger corridor space and then we'll do like a couple of smaller rooms so I'm thinking maybe we'll do uh, the gym there and then we'll do showers, showers and stuff there. That makes sense. So that was going to be blue. And okay, and then I'll do a couple of chairs out here, like a waiting area. That makes sense too, because you, you know how you have the kids sitting outside the principal's office and stuff? Because they've been naughty. Ooh. Or, you know, parents are having, like, I don't know, a meeting with the principal for whatever. Um, that kind of does make sense to have a waiting area outside as well. So this is uh, bringing the logic to me. Okay. So let's do, oh, we need our doors. Uh, I really don't want to do big doors. Oh, I'm going to have to do big doors. Big door, big door. All right. That's our wedding area and our gym and our bathroom. So that's going to be a shower, kind of lock uh, shower area. Cool. Let's get our gym stuff. So maybe just like a couple of treadmills and little bits and pieces like that. And I'm thinking maybe a mirror along that wall as well. Now we're cooking with gas. Like this one here. Yep. And a couple more like that. All right, so they can watch themselves on a workout. And this is for like the cheerleaders and the football team and all of the jocks out there. This is where they work out and keep in shape and make sure they're in tip-top condition for whatever sporty thing they are going to be doing. So, treadmill. So that can look out over the window. So they can run their little hearts out here and look out over the school there they go and maybe just one other sort of like weighty workout machine and a boxing thing there we go keep it simple maybe that should go in the middle 
Oh, and we can do uh, like the little weights and stuff that you get with the da -da 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 -da, everyday clutter kit. And there's like a little yoga mat thing. And maybe we can have like a yoga mat down here as well. So there is like this little, that little thing there with the thing, with the little dumbbell thing. And little weight stuff there. And I want to go into Spa Day and get the little stuff from that as well. Because that has some cool sort of jummy stuff. And we can um, do... I don't feel like that would be appropriate in a high school. <laughs> but maybe a, a couple of piles of towels or something. That would be more appropriate. So we can have that there and some towels I don't know why this shelf doesn't have a uh, like this shelf doesn't have a shelf slot on it I noticed that I was using that for some reason that particular shelf for some reason or other at some point and I noticed like yeah that shelf doesn't have a shelf slot on it so you can't actually put anything on it unless you slide it across and it's super annoying anyway Little things that bug you. Um, I do a few towels around the room, and I think some music would be quite cool. Um, what else was I going to do? A yoga mat. Uh, put that in the middle, I think. Uh, and what else? I'm always thinking there's like a hand sanitizer thing and that might be actually quite appropriate for in here because if you go to the gym right they have like their hand sanitizers and oh and a little locker station yes perfect uh yeah hand sanitizer stuff on the wall and like little spray bottles and stuff oh yeah i definitely want to change that door i don't want to go sorry we're gonna have one like two small doors in the in the place but those doors are way too large. Oh, we could go with those. Those are a bit smaller. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Um, yes, hand sanitizer. I can't remember. I think they're on wall displays, but I can't remember which pack. It might be just base game, maybe, or something like get to work. It's not too hard to find because I do, I have used it a number of times. I think. Oh, this would be actually good for the admin office. There we go. It's always like you find these little things, right? With like, you know, your little doodads and bits and pieces as you're searching for something else and you're like, oh, hang on, that would work for that. Oh, actually, that would probably be quite be quite good too. A little bulletin board and stuff. Anyway, I'm not finding what I want. Which is this? Uh, so we've got the towel dispenser because I've seen these in gyms. So you have like your towel dispenser, and there is a hand sanitizer thing as well. This this one here, get to work. So let's do a couple of those like that but those make sense to me in gym so because you want to wait uh you know like wash down the equipment and stuff and i'm actually thinking that we do the surfaces uh thing and i'll do like a shelf shelf at the middle uh because there is that spray bottle that you get with greenhouse haven and that could like we can pretend that's a spray bottle for sanitizer and stuff So where is that? This one. You know, so that could be like a sanitizer bottle. Sanitize your station, people. Make sure you spray down your equipment. Uh, I don't think there's anything else jimmy that I could put on there. What else? Decoration wise. Oh, some towels. Uh, 
There we go. Oh, and we can put like a little laundry basket in here. We're just going to kit it out like a proper gym. Because you know what? the You always see in the, like the American movies and stuff like that how the jocks get privileged uh, treatment because... They are, I don't know, they earn the money for the school, I guess, because they, you know, don't school donations and stuff like that. So, you know, that kind of makes sense to have the gym area, jock area quite kitted out. Okay, so bathroom wise, I'm just going to block off all the windows. Start with that. I think the hand sanitizer is getting, yes, thank you, thank you, yeah. That got there in the end with that. Slowly but surely, it's the velvet way. Ugh. Um. Ugh. What can I use to block those off? I might just use a long curtain. That'll do the trick. Pretty nice bathroom for kids. Oh well. There we are. Put that in there. Um, so this is going to be our little shower area. So I think we'll do this. Maybe the spa day shower because that's kind of like quite enclosed. A nice shower or um, we could do always like any of those really it doesn't really matter but i, th I like the shower the spa day one it's a nice color for our build you know pastel -y, since we're going pastels in this it's our little shower area and uh, maybe i should do a toilet up here And then a couple of sinks. Okay. And then that's our bathroom. Pretty basic, but I think in a high school, that is absolutely acceptable. We don't need to be complicated in a high school with the bathroom side of things. Because they're basic and functional and do the job nicely. Mostly. Ooh, that's a little long. Uh... There we go, and waste paper. Uh, you know what? I want a bin in here. I realise that's a diaper bin, but that's actually the you know the style of bin that you would kind of have in a lot of toilets. Um, now a poster, poster on the wall, or maybe we could just have a full length mirror. Let's just do that. It saves me having to find a blooming poster. There we go. Okay, so waiting area. I'm just going to do some couches and a coffee tables and stuff. So this is where the parents might wait for an interview with the principal or the students might wait when um, they're getting called into the office. Probably doesn't need to be super comfortable, but, you know, fairly pleasant, perhaps. Because it is a parent area, if you know what I mean. So they are conscious of obviously keeping the parents happy too. And I'm thinking some magazines on there. So like a bit of a waiting material. There is a Machino magazine as well, but that's not coming up under that. That in there and that there. Maybe we could have like another. Oh, we should put some something around that. Safety, people. Safety. Don't forget about our safety. Uh, that's our that on there. Not the white. Um, I'm always wondering if we should have like a front desk out here as well, where someone. 
waits to show them through. So let's do that. Before they get put through to the principal's office. Uh, huh, what else have we got? Oh, you know what? We should do some more of the loud loudspeakers around the place as well. I don't know why I just thought of that randomly, but I just did. So we'll just run with that. And another one in here. I was just thinking for something in behind the desk. I think that's why I thought of that. Ooh, a desk fan. What else we got coming to go on behind the desk? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we could have a little TV. Like a security camera TV. Eh, I don't, I don't know. Nice try. There we go. And we'll put one in there as well. Okay. TV and... I feel like maybe we'd have like an artwork area for showing off the kids' artwork or something. Party starting posters. Uh, maybe another cute, like a cork board or something like that as well. That could do. That could do the job. How are you guys getting along anyway? And thank you everyone that's to stuck with me for almost two hours of building this high school. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Thank you very much for that. But yeah, how is everyone getting on? Are we all well? Are we all happy? I know we've got a birthday girl in the house. Happy birthday. Um... But I hope we're all well and we're all ticking along nicely. And I have uh, very little, I don't say very little plan for the day, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be doing very little, unfortunately. Because I have, look at that, waiting room picture. <laughs> I've always got stuff to do, you know. I've got like uh, I've got to finish putting this, uh, taking some pictures and stuff for our collaboration that we're doing, our battle collaboration. So working on that, and I've got some content to make for the chat for my YouTube channel because there's always content to make for my YouTube channel. And what else is there? Whoa. Um, I've got to get my kids from school. That might be quite nice. They'd probably appreciate it if I picked them up from school. I would think. And, you know, just the usual life stuff. Okay, and then I've just got our eating area for our staff. I actually might run these through here as well. Because I feel like um, staff would have this. And I'll put some more of the vending machines that we use, the snowy escape ones. So we'll put those in there because I feel like the staff would have like maybe a little bit more of a comfortable area to eat. Yeah, I think we need more lighting. So yeah, so I don't have like super exciting plans, but I do have, I always got stuff to do. You know how it is. And I actually, I was playing my, a little bit of my drifter challenge last night as a personal challenge that I'm doing. It's not recorded or anything like that. And I finally got on to house four. And yeah, I was just like, just started it. And then it was time to put the kids to bed and just you know, hang out with the husband, you know, stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I really want to keep playing that because it's a, it, the exciting part where you're just sort of starting to um, get the a build underway and stuff. And you, you've got no money and, you know, you're trying to get money. And, you know, that's the exciting part of Rags to Riches where you're just trying to get everything, you know, started and underway. So... I was just at that point and I had to, you know, stop and get the kids to bed and stuff. I was like, oh man. 
because I get sometimes I get like a little bit of time in the evenings where I can play a little bit of uh, something. You know, last night I decided I wanted to play some Sims, but it just depends on how how busy I am and how much is going on. You know, but I did last night and played some of the Drifter Challenge, and it was it was a lot of fun. I do love Rags to Riches challenges though. Because, you know, the difficulty level, I think. And I like how you've got sort of like a clear goal as to what you're doing. Because it's obviously, you're going from zero money and you've got to really try and push and make make lots of money. So, you know, that's a lot of fun for me. I don't know. We all have our different things that we like. That's just one of mine. <laughs> uh, so I'm just doing like a little bit of artwork for the teachers. I figured teachers might have like a little bit of artwork, right? There we go. You know, nice, nice, nice cozy area. And maybe we can do tables running through here. That's you. Oh, you're enjoying my stream. Thank you so much. I love that you guys come and hang out with me. You know, I do appreciate that. It makes all the difference in the world if you do have some people that do support and, um, you know, appreciate you. Because I, I, I appreciate you guys in return so much for all your love and support. And, uh, yeah, it makes all the difference to me as a creator and as a person. I've got to say, it's meaningful. It's meaningful when people, like, will spend their time on you. And I don't think people appreciate that. When people actually take the time and spend time with you, I, it needs to be appreciated more, I think. Because time is a precious thing. We don't, we don't have enough of it in this world. That's what I think. I would like more time. I would like to be a vampire. <laughs> and, you know, live forever. But, you know, that's just not the way the world works, unfortunately. Uh, oh, that's a nice little area. Okay, so I probably don't need that many tables. I think we'll just go stick with four tables. And I don't think we're going to go too bright. So maybe we'll go like a little bit more neutral on this table. Oh, this is a completely different table. <laughs> Whoopsie. Helps if you have all the same table, right? And I was thinking we can maybe give them the more plushy seat as well. Because there is one that's slightly more plushy that matches. This one here, it looks more plushy to me, like more comfortable. So I thought we could give the teachers that. The teachers deserve it because the teachers are, are amazing. And they do amazing things for us with our kids. And teaching kids day in, day out. It's just like, thank you for having our kids for several hours so we don't have to. <laughs> it gives us a break, you know. Because as much as I love my kids, sometimes I just need a break. There are a lot. I would like to never have to sleep. Oh my gosh. Imagine all the things that we would get done not having to sleep. Oh wow. We would be so productive. That would be amazing. Imagine that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a coffee area. Oh, and then, do you know what we're going to do, guys? We are going to get a high school student and we're going to go to high school with them gonna be fun because I think we're about done yes a tea and coffee area and a microwave because you're gonna be able to microwave you know your stuff and we'll do like a nice little kettle and maybe a pressure cooker why not <laughs> and tea maker there we go. Oh. Uh, just gonna zip on oh, thank you. I do need to remember to save. We definitely need to remember to save before I leave here and uh, try and get a high school student to join us. And a plant, and then I'm just gonna leave it there. There we go. That's our high school. I think we've done all right. I don't think I'm going to take a tour. We've spent enough time on that already. I think we've sort of seen how that goes. Our outside. Beautiful. 
I honestly did not expect to go pastel, but it is nice and bright and lovely and modern. And that's our high school. All right, let's save it. Oh, no. Hang on. I need a principal's desk. Ah, oh, I can't have the desk of my choice. Why do I have to have a principal's desk? Lame. I don't understand why that's a principal's desk. Anyway, whatever. We'll just go along with the game. Don't think it's as nice, but whatever. Now we can save it. Yay, we saved it. You just about chopped out your skin. <laughs> ah. Okay, we are done. Now let's go and go to the world. I think I need to find a household that has a teenager. I was just thinking... Um, Oh, I know. Because I'm in my 100 horses world, I'll just go to my 100 horses family because he's a teenager. And we'll take him to high school. I'm pretty sure he's still a teenager. I don't think he's aged up. Oh, let's check. It's fine. You did it for both reasons. <laughs> oh, Koala, you're evil. I love it. Yeah. Birthday girl needed to be woken up. Obviously. She needed to be scared out of her skin. Oh dear. Yeah, so I think that's about my day. It's not I'm not gonna be anything exciting. It's kind of a bit overcast and rainy, so nothing exciting to do outside. I've even got my like washing up in the basement because we have a washing line in the basement and I don't like using dryers because I'm a weirdo. Uh, so yeah, so it's kind of, yeah, it's a mech kind of day, Tuesday. So I think he's still... Alright, he's still a teen, so, oh, of course it is going to be, um... Okay, we're trying to skip thought forward to Monday. So of course it's going to be the weekend. Uh, 10. Okay. So if we skip it forward another four hours. No. Class in 23 hours. Why is that class in 23 hours? Me trying to work this out. Um, six hours? We're we expecting a fall. Yay! Oh, that's good news. I'm glad we're expecting a foal. This is from my 100 horses challenge, so uh, there's horses everywhere, naturally. Why wouldn't there be horses? And we're actually at the stage where we're about to um, age up Bobby. Oh, I really hope he's not about to age up. Yeah. And his mum's about to retire, so I built her a, a Rutcher retirement house. Uh -huh. 24 minutes, yay! Uh -huh. Anyway, Bobby's uh, kind of not been having a good time of it. I'm trying to get him ready for rancher life, but I haven't been taking pay, like taking very good care of him. If I'm being honest, I was kind of ignoring him. So that's the thing. You know, the, ho the horses are pretty, aren't they? Look at the pretty horses. He's so cute. There's so many graves as well. Oh, yeah, that belongs to Handsome. He was our daddy horse. Okay, can you go to school already? What is, why is class in 24 hours? Why is he not going to school? I'm so confused about this. No, just go away. She's a married lady and she's like stalking my teenage, uh, what's his face? Boy. Um, is it, oh, it's New Year's. Oh man, of course it is. 
Okay. Press that not changing. I love when things go well. Class in seven hours? Okay. Hopefully Bobby is not aging up with me fast forwarding like this. Oh no, he's about to age up. Uh -huh. No. Confusing. Doesn't mean I'm not saving it. <laughs> I'm saved to go to the high. I like to save the high school, but I'm not going to save this part of it because I don't want to ruin my uh, my horse ranch save. Oh, what? And ruin these guys. Oh my gosh. So many phone calls. They're so popular, and they've just been sitting there for hours and hours and hours. Why? Why are they sitting there for hours? What? Why is everybody just standing there? There we go. Talk to the horses. We'll do that for a couple of hours until we got class. I don't want to skip head again and like mess it up. Yay! Aww. Uh, ask horse to eat. Cheer. Because I've had this thing where the mama horses get really hungry and then they get taken away. And uh, I'm just playing 100 horses now, I know. But anyway, it's been a problem. Where I keep losing my mama horses. And I don't want to keep losing my mama horses. Come on, time. Go faster than this. No, why is prom at 3, like 4 a.m. in the morning? What is wrong? Is it because I've been skipping ahead? Is that the problem? Class in four hours. I just want to go to high school. Why are you making it so difficult? Oh, oh look at the cute little horsies though. How are you practice singing, Bobby? Yeah, laugh, 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 blue better. It's just so weird for the horses just to be standing there for hours and hours and hours. I think it doesn't seem right. You're taking a selfie of yourself singing. Alright. It's fine. Yay, they're singing number two. Class in three hours. We're almost there. What else has been going on in the ranch while I haven't been looking? It's poop everywhere. There's always poop everywhere on a horse ranch. Class in two hours? She's very. No! Oh, for flipping hell! Where if I get my blooming horse taken away, I'm gonna be peeved. Not that I'm saving it. Still, I will be peeved. Okay, class in 40 minutes. Come on, class. Come on, Bobby. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat his needs. Da, da, da. Class in <gasps> He's not going to class. There's something wrong with this. Ugh. I am a terrible yeah, I am a terrible horse owner. I really am. I'm really bad at it. I also I'm just pretty terrible at I think gameplay in general. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. Um What if we make one of these kids a teenager? <laughs> They're in this like teeny tiny house. <laughs> Maybe this. Oh. What's that noise for? Um. Maybe there's a glitch in this. Somehow. Where they can't go to high school. Did I not do something? I don't know. Oh, I'm hungry. I just want to go finish it. But I want to see what the high school looks like. But I want to. I want to go eat. 
Bright is very hungry. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so we can set their age to a teen. Yay! There we go. An animal-loving, lactose-intolerant teen with a bucket hat. Looking good there, mate. I love the pink shoes. That's fabulous. Yay! Sure, you can like an infection. So they've got like eight, what is it? Seven people living in this little one-bedroom house. I love the Sims. That's just nut balls. Anyway, I just need to get through to the morning so that we can uh, get this kid off to school. Oh, Cheryl aged up. Okay, great. Cheryl, you are going to be social butterfly. Fabuloso. So he's a high school class in two days. Why is class in two days? Oh, because it's Sunday. I wonder if um, jumping time forward is stuffing things up. And yeah, I'm doing it anyway. Huh. I think it must be a holiday or something. Moses Hicking. Oh, it's the Hicking family. I wasn't paying much attention to that. High school? Study for exam. Why don't you go study for exam, mate? There we go. Ah, oh, that kid set the table. Isn't that nice? And she made some grilled cheese. That's lovely too. Look, they all look happy enough in here. One bedroom, seven people. It's fine. Not a problem. Um. Okay, let's see if this works. Otherwise, I'm giving up because I want to go eat something. <laughs> and we won't be able to see how the high school plays, but I will. I will try and play test it. I just I don't know why it's being fussy about it about them going, but we'll see. Uh, you can do your homework while we're there. There you are. Get you ready for high school. That's fine. Because, like, everybody's standing around kind of doing nothing. It's kind of weird. I really hope this file isn't glitched. That would be disappointing. I'll make sure that I save my high school um, into my library as well so that's not an issue. And then I can place that in another save file. Because I need to put it into my 100 babies thing anyway. So that's cool. Like she was just standing there and like the grilled cheese has gone rotten. And they've been standing there for hours. Like why? Why are they just standing there? Do they not have autonomy? Game options. Gameplay. Autonomy. I don't know. Hopefully they will go to high school, otherwise uh, we won't get to see our high school in play. Yeah, it made me sad, but that's okay. Sometimes these things happen. And I will put it up on the gallery after I've had a little play around with it and just make sure it works okay. As you do. Ah, oh, time stops entirely. There we go. <laughs> Time's just like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's like, oh no. Oh, you need to go to the toilet. Hey, oh, you're actually moving around and doing something. Because it's been quite interesting playing the nanny challenge where I can only control uh, the nanny, right? But actually just seeing how like little the Sims actually look after, after themselves. So, you know, they don't actually, though, unless their need is red, like really red, they won't bother looking after themselves. Which is kind of weird. Like you think with the autonomy on, they would look after themselves a little bit more, but they just don't seem to. Which I think is kind of yeah, it's kind of weird. You would think they would. Who died? One of my parents died. Oh, well that's a problem. Oh dear. Okay, class in two hours. We're gonna get over that. Bye bye. And yeah, you're no longer scared. There we go. You're just fine. Not a problem, mate. I just need you to go to class. Come on. 
make it happen. I just want to know. Gordon aged up. Okay. There's lots of aging up in this family. There you go. You can be mischievous. Ha 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 ha. Oh, does that mean I've got two teens? Ooh, doubles the chances of being able to go to high school. That would be great. See, they're like busy jiggling around. We'll just stand here until we absolutely need to go to the toilet. And when there's like two other people in the toilet. <gasps> yes, school starts in an hour. Great. Okay, we've got the notification, which means we should be going. Finally. Yes. Uh, sleep with student to follow. So we're going to go with... Oh, Anna's already a teenager. Uh, oh, I don't care. Let's just go by with both of them. We're off to high school to see how our high school looks. Yeah, with kids in it. Yeah. It's going to be good. I hope so. I hope it's not like a completely dumb looking high school. I don't know. It's probably not like, yeah, as I said, I, I wouldn't have thought to do pastel in a high school. I would have definitely gone more monochrome, more neutral. But I think it's, like, you can understand it from a educational perspective, like, doing pastels and bright colours and stuff. That's engaging the mind and getting the mind working and stuff like that. So, that makes sense to me. You know, my kids got two new toys yesterday. They uh, earned, earned some money and they bought some toys off the internet and they arrived yesterday. And they've left both of their toys on my desk for me to look after <laughs> throughout the day. <laughs> so, I've got, like, their stuffed toys just sitting on my desk. Yay! It's our high school! Oh, look at that! Oh. So we've got morning t free time and we're going to learn about the new school from the principal. So let's go up to the principal's office. I assume where the principal is. Uh, is the principal here? Can we go in? Here we go. You're embarrassed. Oh, I didn't actually want to play with it. I want to go in with him. Because he's actually... There we go. Everybody's standing outside. Yeah. There we are. Now we're moving. Can we not get in the doors? Oh, okay. The wormhole. <laughs> the wormhole. We can't walk through the wormhole. <laughs> Oh, what a fail! <laughs> um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Who would have thought my fake um? <laughs> I can't build either. Um. Ah, oh, my fake metal detector has ruined everything. <laughs> and there's no other door in. Like, the, the, <laughs> there's literally no other way to get it. <gasps> oh, what a fail. Okay, guys, well, I do, <laughs> I obviously need to fix this high school. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build and uh, the utter failure that is me. I, I need to send them home. Um, I don't know. I have to play through the day, I think. And get them home because I don't think there's any other way out of it except to exit. Ah, oh, hilarious. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap it up there, and you have a happy birthday, Obsessed Simmer. Uh, you are fabulous, and you deserve one. We'll catch you later. Bye.